People who get proud and lifted up, they destroy their lives. And what this shows us here is that, you know, God uses humble people, right? And that God uses, you know, I think it's, it's, it's no, uh, it's not a coincidence that God chose a, a married man to lead his people, okay? God chose a grown man who had some experience, had some humility to lead his people. And what that should tell us is that God doesn't use young punks to lead his people. And God doesn't use, you know, all these. And look, I know there's single young guys in here that are good guys. You know, I'm not trying to just blast every, every single guy in here, right? But there's a lot of young single guys out there that are just punks. And they think they've got it all figured out. They think they've got no better than everybody else. And they're going to tell all these pastors how to do things. They're going to disagree with what the pastor's doing and the decision he makes. They're going to go online and just spout, the, run their mouth and just tell everybody how ev wrong this pastor is wrong. This pastor is not saved. Just on and on and on. And they're just a bunch of young punks. And they're full of pride. And that's not who God uses. God doesn't use young punks. You know, young, these young guys that, you know, want to tell dads how they should run their house. Say, well, I don't think he, he did it. He didn't handle that situation correctly. Well, you know what? That's funny because, you know, you haven't raised anything besides an eyebrow. You know, I, what have you done with your life? Well, I'm going to tell you what's wrong with the church and how the church should be run. And you can't even run a dishwasher. You know, and you're going to come in and tell us how to run a church. They're young punks, and God doesn't use young punks. And everybody starts out young, but not everybody has to be a punk, right? And what's a punk? You know, this rebel kind of attitude, just, you know, going to buck the system, go against the grain. You know, it, no. What you need to be is, is humble, obedient, and, and, and be a blessing, Amen. you know. You know, there's a reason why God uses grown, mature, seasoned men to lead his people, because that's what it takes. You know, the Bible says, for if a man know not how to rule his own house, how shall he take care of the church of God? <clears throat> and if you haven't run a house, you know, you're a novice leader at best, you know, when it comes to running things. God uses humble men to lead his people. I mean, we look at Moses, probably like the greatest leader that ever was, you know, besides Christ. You know, he was a great leader. But what was he? He was the meekest of all men upon the earth. He didn't have this puffed up attitude. 